Welcome back to AI Foundation Learning, your go-to series for exploring, understanding, and mastering the core concepts of artificial intelligence. In our previous episodes, we've covered some of the foundational ideas behind machine learning. Today, we're going to dive deep into one of the most exciting areas of AI, reinforcement learning. Imagine you're learning to ride a bike. At first you wobble, maybe even fall, but with every attempt you get a little better. Your brain learns which actions, like keeping balance or steering, lead to success. That's exactly how AI Agent learns too. It's called reinforcement learning. And today, we're going to explore how AI models learn through trial and error, how this process is inspired by human behavior, and how it's changing the world around us. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos in our AI Foundation Learning Series. We've got a lot of exciting content lined up for you. So what exactly is reinforcement learning? In a nutshell, RL is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to make decisions by interacting with its environment. The agent receives feedback in the form of rewards or penalties depending on its actions. And over time, it learns to maximize the total reward. Reinforcement learning is similar to how we learn in the real world. Think of it as training a pet. You give it positive feedback when it does something good and negative feedback when it does something bad. Over time, the pet learns the behaviors that maximize rewards. One of the most famous examples of this idea in action is Pavlov's dog experiment. In the late 19th century, Russian scientist Ivan Pavlov conducted an experiment with dogs to study associative learning. Every time Pavlov fed the dogs, he rang a bell. Eventually, the dogs began to associate the sound of the bell with food. Even when no food was presented, the dogs would salivate just by hearing the bell. But what happens if Pavlov keeps ringing the bell, but the food never comes? This is where reinforcement learning gets even more interesting. If the dog continues to hear the bell, but doesn't receive food, its brain adjusts. Over time, the dog's salivation response weakens and eventually stops altogether. In reinforcement learning terms, this is called extinction. The agent, in this case the dog, stops performing an action, salivating, because the reward, food, is no longer associated with the state, hearing the bell. In technical terms, the agent is constantly updating its reward expectations. If the actions it takes no longer yield the expected rewards, it learns to stop taking those actions. This is crucial in RL because it ensures the agent doesn't waste time on actions that no longer lead to a positive outcome. Let's break it down with reinforcement learning terms. 1. Initial learning. The dog learns that ringing the bell predicts food, so it salivates. The RL agent here maximizes its reward by salivating in response to the bell. 2. Extinction. Over time, if the bell rings but no food follows, the dog's reward prediction error increases. The dog expected food but didn't get it, so its brain adjusts. Just like an RL agent, the dog stops associating the bell with food. This is an important concept and RL agents must constantly adapt to changing environments. If the rules of the environment change, the agent needs to unlearn old behaviors and explore new ones. Now let's look at an example you might be more familiar with, tic-tac-toe. This is a classic game that's often used to teach the basics of reinforcement learning. In tic-tac-toe, the agent is the player and the environment is the game board. The state is the current configuration of X's and O's on the board. The agent can take different actions, placing an X in an empty spot, and the reward is determined based on the outcome of that action. A win gets a positive reward, a loss gets a negative reward, a draw might get a neutral reward. But here's where reinforcement learning shines. Over time, the agent starts to notice patterns. For example, placing an X in the center of the board often leads to more wins. The agent begins to exploit this strategy. Now the agent has to balance two things, exploration and exploitation. Exploration is when the agent tries new moves. Maybe it places an X in a corner to see if that leads to a better outcome. Exploitation is when the agent sticks with moves it knows lead to success, like always placing an X in the center. This balance is crucial in reinforcement learning. The agent needs to explore new strategies to improve, but it also needs to exploit the strategies it knows work. If you're enjoying this content and want to learn more about how AI works, 
make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future videos. We cover everything from neural networks to AI ethics, and you won't want to miss it. Now imagine the agent has played thousands of games of tic-tac-toe. Through trial and error and by balancing exploration and exploitation, the agent eventually learns the optimal strategy. It knows exactly which moves lead to victory in any given situation. This is how real-world AI agents learn to master much more complex problems, by constantly exploring, learning from mistakes, and exploiting what works. Now let's dive into something fascinating, the connection between reinforcement learning and our own brains. In neuroscience, there's a concept called the dopamine reward system. This system is responsible for how we experience rewards and make decisions. Imagine you're learning to play basketball. The first time you make a shot, you feel a burst of excitement, a dopamine spike. Your brain says, this feels good, let's do it again. This is your brain's reward system at work, and it's directly connected to reinforcement learning. But here's where it gets even more interesting. In your brain, there's something called reward prediction error. This is the difference between the reward you expected and the reward you actually get. If you're playing basketball and expect to make a shot but miss, your brain registers a negative prediction error. If you make the shot, your brain registers a positive prediction error. Over time, your brain learns to predict rewards more accurately, just like an RL agent. Now that we understand how RL is inspired by the brain, let's dive into one of the most important algorithms in reinforcement learning, Q-learning. Here's how Q-learning works in a simplified form. One state. The agent is in a particular state, like the current configuration of a tic-tac-toe board. Two, action. The agent takes an action, such as placing an X in one of the squares. Three, reward. The agent receives a reward based on the outcome. Did it win, lose, or draw? Four, update. The agent updates its Q values. These are estimates of the value of taking a particular action in a particular state. Over time, the agent learns to associate certain actions with higher rewards, and it starts to favor those actions. Let's go back to the tic-tac-toe example. Initially, the agent's Q values are all zero because it doesn't know which actions are good or bad. As the agent plays more games, it starts to update its Q values. For example, if placing an X in the center leads to a win, the Q value for that action goes up. If placing an X in a corner leads to a loss, the Q value for that action goes down. Eventually, the agent learns the optimal Q values for every possible state of the board, which means it can predict the best action to take at any given moment. Let's quickly review some real-world applications of reinforcement learning. Self-driving cars. The agent, which is the car, learns to navigate streets by receiving rewards for safe driving and penalties for risky behavior. Atari Games RL agents learn to beat video games by maximizing their score through trial and error. Robotic arms. RL helps robotic arms learn to pick up objects by rewarding successful grips and penalizing failed attempts. Finance RL is used to optimize trading strategies where the agent learns which trades maximize profits. Now here's a fun challenge for you. In the comments below, let me know what other real-world examples you think relate to reinforcement learning. It could be anything, from learning to cook a new recipe to your favorite video game. I'll feature the best examples in a future video, so get creative. Reinforcement learning isn't just about playing games or training robots. It's about unlocking the future of AI, machines that can learn, adapt, and improve just like humans. From self-driving cars to medical diagnostics, RL is shaping our world in ways we're only beginning to imagine. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into how AI learns, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Because together, we're going to explore the cutting edge of AI and discover how these groundbreaking technologies will change the world.